Relatedly, authorities of the Kumasi Central Prisons have instituted strict protocols to restrain internal and external face-to-face -face contact with inmates. It is part of measure to protect prisoners and personnel against the potential outbreak of coronavirus at a congested facility. Built in 1901, initially to house only 600 inmates, the now overstretched prison is home to over 2,000 people. Ohim Interior of our health desk visited the Kumasi Central Prisons and has come through with this report. Personnel, inmates and visitors to the Kumasi Central Prisons must first wash their hands and apply sanitizers before having their temperatures checked. The routine procedure is also available at the already congested cells where inmates are banned from coming into direct contact with visitors. The stringent measures include a ban on group religious activities. Inmates, irrespective of their faith, have been instructed to pray individually. The measures come as Ghana records six imported coronavirus cases. The numbers in here is not a small number. I go to other places, they are about 300, 400, 500, but we have almost 2,000. And looking at where we are, like the center of the country. So if you are discharged here, some will go to Accra, go to the north, you are in the middle. So you can imagine somebody should get it from here and go out there. You either spread it to the south or spread it to the north. So we are at an advantage point that we need to protect ourselves. And I think we've done that as a station. Anybody coming to the prison, whether you are a policeman, an officer or a visitor, whoever is coming in, we make sure... You use the water with the soap as well as the sanitizer before you come in. All the inmates coming into the prison are also screened. We take them through. We have this uh, the gun, the thermometer. They use to screen you to check whether your temperature is within the uh, limit, a specified range. And there's also another directive that we should suspend uh, remands and try inmates that we send to court. So with that directives, no officer is sending any trial inmate to court and the police have also been directed to hold on with uh, coming in for the remand prisoners. Authorities are satisfied at the level of cooperation from inmates, including those on remand and trial, whose hearing in the course has been suspended. They say the arrangement is enough to prevent coronavirus being recorded at the facility. They know it's for their own good. For instance, with the issue of suspending uh, trial prisoners going to court, initially we thought they would have a problem with it because it's a trial prisoner. He wants the case to be done with so that he knows know his fate. But when the issue was, when we informed them, we noticed they are happy with it, but they themselves know their life is at stake. So whatever measures you are putting in place, it's for their own good. And they've taken it. There's no tension in the yard. They've taken it in good uh, faith. And other things that have educated them, I, they are doing it accordingly. Officers have been given enough education. Just this morning, command, our original commander distributed sanitizers to almost all the officers. And even within the yard, we've isolated certain areas. In case of anything, at least we'll send a person there within a week or two. While we stay, the medical team will study the person to be sure that the person is not having any virus, probably just an ordinary flu. So there are isolation centers as well in the yard. We are already prepared. We are not, we are not hoping anything like that come. But if it comes, I think we put measures in place to contain it. Provision of Veronica Bacchus sanitizers, thermometer guns, among others, is, however, putting a strain on scarce resources. Chief Superintendent Ewame appeals for public and corporate support to procure more of the materials for a sustained fight. Financially, there's a burden on the original commander. Because as I said this morning, he supplied every office with sanitizer. You go around the blocks, you see the Veronica bucket and all that. The burden is on him and then... Officers are also extra careful with other things, so I think there's a burden on the station as, as it is, but we'll be, we'll be able to contain it. From Kumasi, for Joy News, Ohim Interior reporting.